we will prove the following theorem. The image and the kernel of a matrix are linear subspaces. Well, first we show this for the image. Well, we need to show three things. First of all, the zero vector should belong to the image. Well, this is clear since a times the zero vector gives the zero vector, so the zero vector is actually reached. So secondly, suppose that we have two vectors v1 and v2 as member of the image of a matrix. Then we know that v1 and v2 are reached through the transformation a times x. So there are w1 and w2 such that v1 equals a times w1 and v2 equals a times w2 yeah, for some vectors of w1 and w2. So now add these two, v1 and v2. We have to show that v1 plus v2 are also, v1 plus v2 is also a, a member of the image of the matrix. Well, this is seen using linearity of the matrix summation. So v1 plus v2 is a times w1 plus a times w2. And we take out the matrix multiplication since this equals a times the sum of v w1 plus w2. So actually the image of w1 plus w2 is v1 plus v2. So v1 plus v2 is also in the image of the matrix. Now take a member of the image and finally we need to show that a multiple of such a vector belongs to the image as well. So take a w1 which is mapped onto v1. This must exist since v1 is a member of the image of the matrix A. Then k times v1 equals k times a times w1. And now we plug in the rule that says that we can take in the scalar multiplication. So we get a times kw1, which is also a member of the image of the matrix. Well, the kernel. So... The zero vector always belongs to the kernel of a matrix since uh, the zero vector is mapped onto the zero vector. Now suppose we have two vectors x and y in the kernel of a matrix A so that we have a times x equals a times y is zero. Then the sum of the two elements a times x plus y equals a times x plus a times y equals the zero vector plus the zero vector equals the zero vector. So actually this shows that x plus y is also contained in the kernel of the matrix A. Now thirdly we need to show that when a vector belongs to the kernel that any multiple also belongs to the kernel. So suppose that x belongs to the kernel and take a constant k, a scalar k, then a times k times x equals k times a times x. And a times x is supposed to be 0 because it's in the kernel, x belongs to the kernel, so we get k times the 0 vector equaling the 0 vector. So also k times the vector x belongs to the kernel. So this summarizes our finding that the image and the kernel of a matrix are linear subspaces.